What's it like to buy a home in Austin, Texas right now? Well, stay tuned for this market minute. I'm going to break down what our latest stats is showing us. And then I'm going to tell you what our buyers are seeing firsthand. So the latest stats came out from Austin Board of Realtors for the month of June. Our median home value for Travis County went up month over month to 550,000. Now this is still way farther down from where it was at the peak last year. The median price was 659,000 for Travis County. So homes right now are still at a big discount from where they were last year, but we are starting to see prices inch upward, which is usually what we see happen during the spring and early summer months. Now, if, in, if this year is anything like any other years, what we should start seeing is that the market will slow down once school starts. And then in the fall and winter, the prices usually dip down a little bit. Now, interest rates are definitely influencing people. So as long as the rates stay high, you'll see that there's less competition among buyers and more bargaining power when you are making an offer. Months of inventory is close to four months. To give you perspective, when we were in the middle of the craziness of 2021, then we had literally about seven days of inventory. So right now we've got more homes to choose from than I've probably seen in my career, which is great for buyers because if you do miss out on a property, maybe because someone else put an offer, you can find a lot more homes that are to your liking. So it's not like there's only one house and everyone's bidding on it. You got lots of homes to pick from right now. New construction probably has some of the best opportunities. About 30% of the homes on the market right now are new construction homes. The builders are really competitive and aggressive for the most part on offering incentives. Um, we've seen some offer as low as like 4.99% interest rates. Some are offering 6% towards closing costs. So they're being really aggressive to try to make their homes move faster and to be the most attractive price. On average, homes are sitting for about 52 days before going under contract, but there are some homes that will still sell in a day or even get multiple offers. It really depends on how aggressively they're priced and is it just a really unique home or that you know has a lot of attractive features to it. Now, the multiple offers that we're seeing personally are not anything like they were back in 2021 or 2022. So there's not 50 offers, you know, 30 offers or anything crazy. In some cases, we've won in multiple offer situations where we were just competing against two or three offers total. And we've even won while having an offer that was below asking price. So multiple offers does not mean that people are paying through the roof. You might win just by offering full price or just barely over asking. So overall right now, the market is definitely a healthy one that's favoring buyers. Even though prices are starting to go up a little bit, it's still lots of inventory to choose from. You've got good negotiating power. And even though rates are high, there's all kinds of solutions to help you get that rate lower. Lots of seller incentives that you can ask the seller to help you buy your rate down. So when you take high interest rates out of the equation, this is a really great opportunity to buy right now while our prices are down. We are predicting that once interest rates start to come down, then prices are gonna start going back up again. So if you are able to buy a home now and you need to do so, this is a great opportunity for buyers.